Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol G-E-R-N. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I'll let you this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping outward levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. A pretty crazy chart, especially the, the goofiness that happened with the, the movement down here, and then all of a sudden the price is way back up there. So to kind of just take a step back and cut through all the goofiness of this chart, overall, the, the chart is still perfectly fine. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just focus on a single level. That's gonna help us, again, quote unquote, cut through the goofiness. And that level is just right here at the purple line, which on my chart denotes the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. So as time continues to play out, that line is just gonna move itself higher and higher. In fact, I like to call tread lines, uh, you know, tread lines for lazy people. If you don't feel like drawing a tread line, I don't like to draw a tread line, fine. Then let's just quote unquote tread line draw itself to, uh, for you. And as you see right now that, you know, the, the tread line, again, quote unquote, is very clearly sloping upwards. and Tread lines that are sloping upwards, well, that's a bullish tread line. And as long as the price stays above the tread line, then that implies that the overall trend is still bullish and that the bulls are in full control of things. So even when you have kind of the goofiness, you know, at the end of the day, the price is still well up above that purple line, and that's what you want to see. And in fact, in this situation, there is a whole lot of uh, situations where the price has come down to that purple line, and you can see bounced very beautifully off it. Now, right there, I, I realized it did technically go below it, but that was, like I said, that very goofy candle. But my point here is that from a big picture perspective, if you wanna just kinda of cut out a lot of the noise and cut out the goofiness of things, just watch that purple line and know that as long as the price stays above that line, as that line moves higher and higher, the bulls are in 100% ownership of the chart. What about levels of resistance? As far as where the sellers are currently residing. Main level going forward seems to be right up there around 205. I get it, there was a little bit of a, 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 a time where the price got up above there, but there, there just seems to be more data points right around 205. So in my mind, I think 205 is kind of that truer area of resistance, meaning if the price can get up there and then get a good higher volume break of it, then it wouldn't be shocking at all to see the price get up to 209 and above. Overall though, point here being, just focus on that 50 period moving average, and as long as the price stays above it, then the bulls are in full control of the chart. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.